So I just got done watching Ryan McCaffrey from IGN and Steve Merka from San Diego Studios deep dive into Road to the Show and MLB The Show 19. And there's a lot of amazing little details in this video that I just had to show you guys. So I reached out to Ryan on Twitter and he graciously allowed me to share this footage with you guys in this video. So thanks so much to Ryan and IGN. If you want to check out the full video, you can hit the link in the description. Honestly, a lot of good details there. But here in this video, we're going to break down all the little details and take a first look at Road to the Show gameplay and MLB The Show 19. Now this video is really cool. It showed the entire process of going from creating your player to actually playing as your player, doing the off the field activities, engaging in relationships, changing your personality. Everything about Road to the Show was in this and we're gonna go through it. First, the contextual environment, the bedroom. So as you're going through that flow, changing your player, there will be a bunch of little things that change. The flag, the jersey, the bobblehead, the trophies, and a lot more. And when you choose your personality, it adds a bunch of little things that kind of describe who you are. Now this isn't really game changing, this is all just aesthetic, but it's still cool to see them trying to make the game more real world. Not just about the game of baseball, but the game around the game. Also Steve mentioned that last year there was 15 archetypes, this year there's only 5. Last year could have been a little confusing because there were so many, but they've really tried to simplify it this year. Obviously with that there's no cap, you can take any rating and progress it to 99 if you want. Some will just be harder than others based off the type of player that you choose. We also got to take a little bit of a deeper look at personality. Your personality, your tree, unlocks perks. And the relationships you have with other people on your team and rivals boost those perks. So like the number of friends, bros, and rivals, and team rivals will influence the power and boost on those perks. Okay, there's a new training facility. We've seen a lot of pictures of it. We've seen a lot of video of it so far, but this is a new new environment and we got to see a good full end to end display of the first mini game in road to the show there's a pilates mini game this reminds me a lot of parappa the rappa or even guitar hero back in the day where there's timing and you have to hit the button i think at first like a couple times you can play this and it'll be fun but i don't know if you're going to want to do this over and over and i don't know how many variations of different drills there are little mini games but um you know some might be more challenging more fun than others so on the topic of rivalries. You can also build rivalries with other teams and players on those teams. We got to see what that looked like. You could essentially call out another player in another team to feel that rivalry. And Steve also mentioned this would have greater impact on Mavericks. We also got to see dialogue options that went through that. The different dialogue options and how those work in real time. Not just interacting with the player but also with your coach and other things. Alright, now for the big one. The gameplay. We get to see the first fielding chance in road to the show and two entire at bats the fielding chance is a backhand off one foot play that we've seen hundreds of times before nothing really new to see here i mean good to see it it doesn't really jump out as anything super new i think if anything the baseball looks a little bit bigger when the ground ball is coming but other than that it looks really the same when hitting so far the game looks really good at the plate you know the stock camera angle is a little bit less fisheye the in-game ui that's proposed there not too big of a difference but you know nice and subtle the pci looks to be improved i mean it looks like it's not jumping around that'll be big i'm actually real excited about that you know for franchise and road to the show that was a problem that i was having i can't really see the pitch speed differences yet i mean it looks like he's playing on veteran difficulty and the pitch speed looks a little slow you know he's ahead of a 94 mile an hour fastball uh, so it could be faster but we'll have to tinker with that throughout these two at bats steve draws draws a walk here and then in the second at bat he pulls a ball which I thought normally in 18 would get pulled foul but here looks pretty good it hangs down the line it is a game winning hit outside of the gameplay we get a really good look at all the UI all the user interface when batters come up to the plate when you're in the pause menu the way it looks like in the road to the show menus it's basically bigger it's bolder it's more of a white theme and you know
mean, I like it, but it really is going to come down to did they find more ways to present data to you? We're going to have to be on the lookout for that when the game drops. Another thing that Steve said they added is new iconography and slide out graphics to help you understand pitch to pitch whether you're gaining or losing. This is cool. This is good. Before, it only was like right after certain at bats, you would get an idea of training points or your gains and losses after the at bat was over. On this, this is great because you could just see what's happening every pitch. Are you doing good or are you doing bad? And also the representation, the icons that are associated with what's happening. I think that's good. Also, when Steve's up that at bat, you can see he's got some new stance socks that he's wearing. Now, I don't think I've ever seen anything like these before, and I hope there's more stance socks than just those stance socks last year. This is not this year's version, and there's many more, uh, but we'll have to see. Another thing that was really cool to see, at the end of the game, there was a new player of the game graphic. So if you remember before, you had to wait till the interview and the microphone, the players getting interviewed, that would be it. Here it's a splash screen with that character over a graphic and it kind of shows that they did. I, I like this, this is good. This will be good for screenshots, you know, in franchise as well too. And then the end of the game box score screen also looks like it takes advantage of the UI and that new player of the game imagery. It looks good, I, I, you know, I like it. Um, it's more improved than just the basic black boxes from last year. So moving on to details about the personality trees. In this video, Steve shows the lightning rod and maverick paths. We get to see some of those perks along the way. Not all of them are unlocked, but we get to see some of them. So on the lightning rod, you see critical strike, which was a tier one. This basically is unlocks the rest of the tiers. So nothing big there. Eye of the storm, tier two, says batting showtime is available for one plate appearance. And then jumps start which is also tier two gives you improved ability to hit pitches on OO counts now so if you have bros if you have friends then you could progress to a boosted level so for example for jump start you would have not just OO count boosts but you also have one O count boost now on the maverick side we only got to see one which is the up in arms which is tier two and this one's really fun like if you call time out like if you step out of the box twice in a row and at bat the next pitch you receive a pitch up and in if it's a boosted perk you receive a fastball uh, and that's something else i mean i i can't wait to see that in action i don't know if i would keep backing out every time and in, in those situations but i'm sure there's a lot of perks that are going to be pretty creative pretty interesting to see if you're going to use in your road to the show and you can only have two trees at once so you could do maverick and lightning rod and you can only do one perk one equipable perk per tier and so basically for tier four you're going to have like when you're player gets that good you might have one perk for every single type so heart and soul captain lightning rod and maverick but we'll just have to go through it and tinker around with it and see what happens uh, you know i haven't seen a fully kitted out tree yet so we'll have to see what that looks like all right guys this has been the first look at road to the show gameplay and mlb the show 19 love to know what you guys think down in the comments once again i'm crazy excited for this I'm gonna be starting a series on march 26th when the game comes out can't wait to show you guys that so thanks so much for for tuning in. Until the next one, we'll see ya. Peace.